Abhishek here and in this video I'll be talking about how I make notes using NeoVim. I'll be also showing a couple of utilities and functions I use to help me around uh, with taking notes and syncing them. And yeah, uh, the last video got a lot of views so thanks for watching it and hope you like this one as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my to-dos. Right, and as you see, this is my to do for the day. I just made it for this video, just an agenda. But this is what I'm going to walk you guys through. I'll show you what the to do alias is, how I have set up a to do function. I'll show you a utility I use called committer, which is a simple cell script. Then I'm gonna show you NeoVim telecast and switch key bindings and a couple of telecast and features so the first thing what is to do right let me open up my ESS file so to do is this simple uh, alias that invokes this new vim command and vim and then you can see telecast and go to today telecast is the plugin i'm using with new vim for making my notes and this basically invokes that command so you can add this to your cell file and you'll have a to do as well uh, an alias that works the same way next thing i'm going to show you is this to do's function so what this basically does is it shows me all of the uh, unticked unchecked to do's that are remaining right so you can see all of the to do's that i have created and basically lets me get a eagle eye view of things and quickly helps me uh, walk through them and finish off things uh, th that uh, I had to complete right so that is to do's and I can directly jump to those files as well so let's say if I wanted to come back to this right if uh, tomorrow if I executed to do it would open the file for 14th but today is 13th so uh, I can just do to do come to today's file and yesterday's one I can uh, check out uh, using the to do's command as well and I can do the same search inside NeoVim but inside NeoVim it takes a little bit of know-how uh, with, with this file so you need to have something like this and right now it's searching my entire projects directory but uh, you need to use this particular syntax for searching inside new vim if anyone has a better way to directly trigger this with grep preview that would be great um, so now let me just move to the uh, my work log directory basically so this is where i keep all my notes uh, this is a private repo on my github account and it's synced there and i basically manage it on all my devices including my phones uh, so yeah uh, let me see what else do we have so we uh, I showed you a demo of the to do's function let me show you the actual function as well so and yeah alia func these are some aliases that I had created to jump to these files now if I go to to do you can see that it's a simple uh, function cell function that evokes a cd and then it opens up the command uh, it, it runs neovim editor is set to neovim for me and it runs this rip clip command with that same uh, live search thing uh, the the syntax i showed you right and then it does a cd once this is done it goes back to the original repo uh, or original uh, folder where we started and notes root is uh, a external variable uh, environment variable which i have sent to my work log directory so you can set it to whatever notes you are using to that directory as well right uh, next thing on our list let me mark this as done so next thing right so if you see currently this particular file is not committed right this is lazy git by the way uh, and you can see my entire structure here yeah, this is how 
actually structure my nodes and this is compatible with obsidian uh, not fully but yeah most of the things are compatible so if you want to use obsidian for some things you can uh, the only reason i have the obsidian config here is because i use obsidian on my phone to preview and uh, interact with these nodes so yeah and this is the structure this is where i keep my log this is where i keep my notes uh, this is for some work stuff this is where i keep all the templates and so on right and yeah if you have any particular questions around this drop a comment i'll i'll definitely reply so again uh, about committing backing up etc right so if you remember i just showed you they these files are not committed right so in order to commit them i could either come to my work log repository do a git add and then go to that file and then uh, commit it, like commit it again and that's a long process right and uh, for notes uh, i personally do not care a lot about the commit message i just want to make sure that they are there and uh, they have a timestamp so if you see my recent commits all of them actually have the timestamp and a simple message work log backup right so uh, how did i configure that let me show you so if i go back to my to do and if i hit a n s right that basically committed everything and if you see the latest commit has the changes so what does ns do uh, and there's also another version n capital s which is for sync ns is for backup but let me now go to which key and show you what ns is doing let me jump to my new game configs and turn up which key i'll jump to my notes section and then i'll go to s right if you see what s is doing right it's basically executing a silent command it's seeding into my notes root and executing this particular thing cmtr hyphen b and then rerouting the output to devnil and remember we have this and symbol which means all of this happens in the background so uh, it doesn't interrupt with your current new vim flow so what is this cmtr thing and what are these flags b hyphen s all of those let me show you just that i'm just gonna open up a tmux <coughs> window and then yeah this is the thing cm uh, committer right i have just uh, added an alias for it as let me show you where i keep applications then right so you can see cmtr that's the uh, execute that's the executable for committer let me show you the source code and uh, this is also up on github with the same repo i'll add all these links in the description but this is what committer does uh, it is a simple bash script with a couple of functions right for syncing for backing up and then this is the main function so if you remember we were using the hyphen b hyphen s right hyphen b is for backup hyphen s for sync backup basically takes uh, gets the timestamp uh, commits adds all the files and commits it with the folder name backup and the timestamp and what sync does is basically the same it just says syncing but since we uh, do not want a uh, new vim to wait while this runs uh, we don't see it but if we ran it from the terminal we would then it does a get pull basically checks if there are any uh, commits on uh, master already master or main already it pulls them in uh, it backs up the commits and it then it does a git push right i think this could be improved a bit let me do that uh, we can add auto stash and stuff but let me show you git push 
okay yeah git pull i can probably use this command instead and commit it as well so yeah this will basically allow me to uh, not worry about merge conflicts as much so let me show you a demo for committer on itself right so as you can see now i have an uncommitted change but ideally i would want to use a proper uh, conventional commit when committing this file but just for demo i'll do this cmtrb right it says committing backup for committer and then it this is the commit message right and if i did a committer s it would basically sync the changes uh, the escape codes that you see they are because of the hyphen e command that i had added in the cell script they work on linux but for some reason not on mac um, i'm primarily a linux user so in my linux system this this comes with a bold uh, highlighting with green color i think so yeah if, if anyone knows how to fix this or make them uh, platform independent that would be great but that is basically committed and that's what these uh, two key bindings are doing right so let's see what else is on our agenda uh, we looked at this and now we have which key bindings right let's look at the which key bindings so these are all of the bindings that i have added right now the first one is calendar which is really handy so if i did a nc leader nc this would basically open up this nice calendar view right and i could go to any day and look at the notes for that day so super handy and i use it quite a lot for looking at my daily notes uh, from previous days then you have the daily thing but it opens it in a split so if i did a nd leader nd it would open it like this then i have a find daily notes mounted uh, map to capital d so uh, this would only let me search in the current month's daily notes right so that's that then i have find notes which is always handy if i want to learn something about let's say reels if i just search for reels right you can see all of the uh, reels commands or reels notes i have made right that's for that then you have follow link uh, and insert link this is something that i don't use a lot but if you want one note to be linked to another or if you are creating a hierarchical structure these two will be useful then you have search notes basically live grep but for notes so uh, i could do something like cell right so that would show me all of the cell commands i have all of the places where cell is mentioned basically i uh, think yeah that's that uh, then we have insert link which we talked about okay so these are interesting uh, i mostly use n small j insert human date but what all of them do is basically they call a put command which is a new of m command and they insert the date let's say i wanted to uh, remember the date of when i'm making this note right although uh, you could use that will cast in but let's say uh, in the same note you want to maintain all of the uh, like you are you are making a log sort of right so you have all kinds of notes in there and from different times so just hit a nj it would insert a date in human format right similarly i have uh, n capital j i have n k this is for time i have n capital k right so uh, yeah this is uh, the bindings and i use this one the most human date for marking my notes you could customize this 
just change the format that you are passing into uh, strf time and it would give you the correct one then there's another interesting one so tags so i try and uh, add uh, interesting tags useful tags to all of my notes uh, and if I, when i did a nt you could see that these are all the ones that i have added right let's see what i have added in youtube okay so this is uh, from my ideas file where i keep a list of things i want to make youtube videos on so yeah uh, just something that that could quickly let you jump back into things then there's one for search notes uh yeah okay right yeah i think uh, this is a duplicate over this uh yeah search notes live grip okay right so this one is using telecast and search notes feature and this is using telescopes live grip uh yeah the, basically they do the same thing then i have this one and n which basically lets me create a new settle fast and note so let's say i want to write a note about something right uh, but uh, audio let's say for some reason i wanted to call it so this will use a template that i have defined and it will give me this uh, template and it will place this file in my work log directory right uh, so yeah this is for and if i could quickly change it up add the tags add the content add any li links if i wanted so this is for quickly making new notes uh, then there's also a new note here which basically creates a new note in this uh, folder right so if you want to make project like uh, you don't want to keep your notes in the main notes root directory all the time you could use this then there's open notes which basically opens up the folder for me to quickly look at um, then there's yeah telecast and this is basically opens up the telecast panel so i don't use all of the features that are present in telecast but if you want you could uh, then there are these two for backup and sync then telecast also supports weekly notes which i don't use to be honest but if you wanted you could add these w and capital w uh, then there's markdown preview for quickly previewing markdown notes and this is from a separate plugin so i'm not going to go over this right now uh, then there's toggle to do right that's how i've been doing so let's say i'm done with uh, which key bindings walk through i can do an x and it's done right it will basically cycle through all the uh, variants you have in a in a check mark then there's a yank note link basically if i wanted to link this note somewhere else right so if i did a ny and i did a p it basically uh, so if i have to paste it in another file but it will copy the uh, link to this note and then uh, it's basically the same as this insert link but it will give you the link to the current note then yeah new little cast in and new little cast in here so this basically creates a new little cast in file in my drafts directory uh, in z and then n capital z does the same but in the current directory so um yeah i think we while going through which key bindings i think we already went through these search tags that will cast an org etc so i'm gonna mark this as done i'm gonna mark this as done and i'm gonna sync them right so that's that and yeah that was the video thanks for watching and if you have any comments any feedback do drop it in the uh, comment section i'll be sure to take a look thank you